ocean currents now ocean currents refers to surface movement of water ocean water movement of surface layers of ocean and this is under the impact of prevailing planetary winds numerous factors are responsible ocean currents simply refers to horizontal movement of surface water suppose trade winds are blowing these winds extend over large surface so these winds exert friction westerlies trade winds they blow over large extent if the wind is blowing over, over a small extent then it will create only ripples or waves that is transfer of energy matter will not move water will not move if the extent of the wind is small it will create only ripples that is transfer of energy but if the winds ex blow over large extent they exert friction they friction over the oceanic surface and under the impact of those winds the surface layers of water starts moving this horizontal movement of water is known as this hor this surface water starts moving this surface water starts moving you can this is the these are the planetary winds planetary winds under the impact of which the surface water starts moving in the direction of planetary winds now if you take the case of trade winds then they move from east to west so on either side of equator the movement of water will be from east to west now when this surface water always remember if it is trade winds this is tropical region trade winds blow in tropics trade winds blow in tropics in tropics the surface water is warm so under the impact of trade winds the warm surface water will pile up on the western side of the ocean and to compensate for this loss of surface water this water from the ocean bottom starts upwelling upwelling of water if it is trade wind belt on the eastern side of the ocean where the trade winds are dragging away the surface water the cold water from below will upwell to supplant this loss of water and here cold water upwelling cold water will cause cold current and this warm water on the western side will create <coughs> warm current so if it is a trade wind belt cold currents are, will always be found on the eastern part of the ocean and warm currents will be found on the western part because warm surface water is being piled up on the western side now here always sea surface temperature is always higher than eastern side and sea level is also raised because of continuous piling up of water sea level gets raised so some water also starts sinking this sinking is known as downwelling this water also starts sinking and on the ocean floor here and on the ocean floor you will find very slow movement of water along the ocean floor very slow movement of water along the ocean floor is found this is known as thermo haline circulation now here this movement is attributed to the differences in temperature and salinity because of difference in temperature and salinity on the ocean floor movement of water is attributed to thermo means temperature haline means salinity this movement of water is thermo haline circulation which is found at the ocean bottom and this movement is because of differences in temperature and salinity this complete vertical circulation is known as 
ओशियन सर्कुलेशन तो ओशियन करेंट इज अ कंपोनेंट इज द हॉर्जोंटल कंपोनेंट ऑफ ओशियनिक सर्कुलेशन विच इज फाउंड एट द सरफेस ओशियन करेंट इज सिंपली अ कंपोनेंट दिस कंप्लीट इज नोन एज ओशियनिक सर्कुलेशन एंड ओशियन करेंट इज सिंपली अ कंपोनेंट ऑफ ओशियनिक सर्कुलेशन दैट इज हॉर्जोंटल मूवमेंट ऑफ वाटर अंडर द इंपैक्ट ऑफ now here you must know it is not only the trade winds rather there are several factors responsible for the origin of ocean currents ocean currents are controlled by various factors and kindly if you want how i have, i have given you the elaborate description in the notes and i will give you various factors are responsible humboldt made the study and he found that physical properties of water atmospheric properties all influence oceanic currents so what are the factors that influence oceanic current now one very important factor is gravitational force of earth yes we can prove gravitational force of earth is a factor that is responsible for ocean currents ocean currents are the result of 13 factors there are 13 factors that are responsible for the genesis of ocean current one is gravitational force second is coriolis force yes as the ocean currents move away from equator in either hemisphere coriolis force starts deflecting them coriolis force starts deflecting them now apart from these two factors there are factors that are controlling ocean currents which are outside the sea see apart from these two factors there are factors that influence ocean currents factors these influencing ocean current ek to ye do to hai these two factors influencing ocean currents that are outside the sea matlab which are not in sea outside the sea right first atmospheric pressure very important and its variation it has significant influence on ocean current atmospheric pressure and its variation very important wherever high pressure is there the sea level is lowered you know subtropical high pressure belts over are also known as or uh, horse trades subtropical high pressure belt is also known as horse trade why because the arabian uh, arabians when they used to bring their horses arbi ghode acche hote na when they used to bring the horses and they when they used to pass through subtropical high pressure belt because of sinking air there was danger of ship being sank so they used to throw away the horses into the sea so at subtropical high pressure belt sea level is lowered obviously when the sea level is lowered water will move towards low level atmospheric pressure and its variation it plays an important role in the surface movement of water second planetary winds very important planetary winds as i told you they exert the frictional drag planetary winds exert frictional drag which is very important for the causation of ocean currents ocean currents play a very important role in the distribution of heat warm current move from low latitudes to high latitudes and cold currents move from high latitudes to low latitudes so planetary winds exert the frictional force and this frictional force is very important reason for the movement of current precipitation and fourth is evaporation 
so these four factors are very important in determining the ocean current and these are the factors which are outside the sea which are outside the sea now factors in influencing ocean currents that are within the sea those factors that influence ocean current and that are within the sea like pressure gradient prevailing in the sea i will discuss pressure gradient for example if you see pacific ocean in general eastern trade winds in southern pacific ocean move from east to west that is from western coast of south america towards eastern coast of australia these trade winds blow from east to west because pressure gradient is directed from east to west during el nino el nino means when the warming of east pacific ocean takes place as a result of warming what happens low pressure is created as a result the pressure gradient in south pacific ocean gets opposite now the surface easterlies are replaced by surface westerlies here you have see because of reversal of pressure gradient the wind movement has changed and according to wind movement the movement of surface water also changes are you getting this i will discuss it i will discuss it elaborately don't worry pressure gradient now we are discussing what are the factors within the sea that influence the ocean current one is pressure gradient i'll discuss it temperature difference in the sea salinity i'll discuss high saline water when it abruptly cools it becomes heavy and sinks on the bottom high saline water salinity and density these are the four factors which are density and one more sorry melting of ice melting of ice in arctic regions ice melt it is very cold therefore the pole, these currents like labrador current and falkland current coming from polar regions they owe their existence to melting of ice melting of ice so these are the five factors within the sea that influence ocean current rat lena isko acche se five factors within the sea that influence ocean current and two very important factors are uh coastline when the ocean current moves they are always modified according to the coastline and 11th is ocean bottom topography i'll discuss i'll discuss how they influence yes so these are the 13 factors factors outside the sea factors within the sea these two factors and these two factors there are total 11 plus 12 13 13 factors that influence ocean currents and ocean currents play a very important role in distribution of heat across various heat balance they are very important for maintaining global heat balance ocean currents yes hari any doubt so remember these factors they are very important factors within the sea factors outside the sea and these four factors now uh 
you might see if you see the ocean, uh, ocean currents open up your atlas uh, if you see the ocean currents you will see ocean currents always have a circulatory path ocean currents have circulatory path this is because of coastline if you see here i'll discuss this oh, this ocean currents they will move like this then because of coast they will deflect like this they will move like this circulatory path this circulatory path of ocean current is because of projecting coastline as well as coriolis force and these cir these circulatory path are known as gyres this circulatory path ocean currents follow a circulatory path because of projecting coastline and coriolis force and these circulatory path is known as gyres gyres so see there are two gyres in northern hemisphere in clockwise direction one in north atlantic ocean one in north pacific ocean and three gyres in southern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere you will find ocean currents make anti clockwise arc we'll discuss we'll discuss these gyres these circulatory movements circular movement is attributed to projecting coastline as well as coriolis force now uh ocean currents uh if you see ocean currents can be classified in two ways on the basis of their velocity and the, on the basis of their temperature on the basis of velocity they are categorized into three categories stream when the velocity and the volume of current is very high when the velocity and vo volume of current is very high they are known as stream like gulf stream second they are known as current when the velocity is moderate north equatorial current south equatorial current and drift when the velocity is drift when the velocity is slow slow moving currents are known as drift slow moving current are known as drift on the knee, on the basis of temperature they are classified as cold current or warm current what is cold current when the movement when the surface water is moving when the warm when the surface water is moving and it enters into a water body whose temperature is less than the temperature of the ocean current then it becomes warm current and if the water of ocean current enters into a water body whose temperature is more than the ocean current current becomes cold current same current may become cold current and warm current depending upon the temperature of water body i'll discuss aleutian current a northern branch of north pacific current a branch of it enters into bering sea it becomes cold current second branch enters into alaskan sea it becomes warm current so absolute nature of the current is not so important what is important is temperature of the water body into which it is entering all the wat waters which is moving from equator to poles this will move towards cold water bodies so warm currents move from equator to poles and those currents which are moving from poles to equator they will obviously move towards warm water body they will be cold currents are you getting this when the water what is cold current if this what this water of this current is entering into a water body that is warmer then it will become cold current 
and if the same current is entering into a water body whose temperature is colder then the current will become warm current usually uh, from a currents moving from equator to poles they are warm current and currents moving from poles to equator they are cold current right shuru kare ठीक है ध्यान से ओशन करेंट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मे बी एवरीथिंग मे नॉट बी गिवन इन नोट्स इन दट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू गिव एवरीथिंग तो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद अटलांटिक ओशन ओपर ओपन अप योर एटलेस This is equator. Yes. Outline banana seeko. Learn the art of making outline. It's very simple. It's very simple. Outline you will have to draw. ये थोड़ा बड़ा हो जाएगा. Hmm. करो Atlantic Ocean. This is equator. Have you opened up the map of Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> This is Gulf of Guinea. This is Gulf of Guinea. I think it's slightly north. Runs like this. Yes, this is equator. Now, you see the shape of Atlantic Ocean. It is broader in the middle latitudes. It narrows down towards the equator, and again broadens in the south. Isn't it? It is in the shape of letter S. Isn't it? It is narrow towards the equator, broader towards middle latitudes. and in south also it broadens towards south now here northeast trades and southeast trades are blowing under the impact of these trade winds surface water of atlantic ocean will start moving from east to west under the impact of trade winds under the impact of trade winds the surface water of atlantic ocean starts moving from east to west north of equator this surface movement is known as north equatorial current and south of equator this current is known as south equatorial current since the extent of the atlantic ocean is more where the south atlantic ocean is south equatorial current is found here the extent of the ocean is more so south equatorial current is more consistent and more strong it is stronger than north equatorial current because of more extent of atlantic ocean to the south of equator the winds will blow over longer distance so here the south equatorial current south equatorial current is more constant in its boundary and it is stronger as compared to north equatorial current now when the north equatorial current reaches the western boundary of atlantic ocean 
it will turn according to the projecting coastline it turns according to the projecting coastline and as it moves away from equator the coriolis force that acts towards the right hand side that also increases which will further cause this current to turn towards north here as the north equatorial current reaches the western boundary it follows the projecting coastline and because of projecting coastline as it moves towards north it moves away from equator and here lies the lesser antilles island if you see your atlas numerous small islands are there known as lesser antilles because of obstruction caused by lesser antilles one second as it moves away from the equator along the projecting coastline the coriolis force will further turn it towards right as a result a branch of north equatorial current turns north to the east of antilles island and this current is known as antilles current getting it or not ab kya ghus ke batau usme aise kya dekh rahe ho bhai is it clear or not this continuous movement of surface water on the western side under the impact of trade wind this continued movement of north and south equal current piles up warm water on the western side it piles up warm water on the western side as a result sea level in the western side raises as a result a slope gets formed from west to east continuous under the impact of trade winds continuous movement of surface water in the form of north and south equal current the surface water keep on piling on the western side so the sea level raises as a result a slope gets formed from west atlantic ocean towards east atlantic ocean and this warm water that piles up this surface water is warm this warm water that piles up it starts moving from west to east it starts moving from west to east under the as a compensating current under the impact of slope this north and south equatorial current drag the warm surface water on the western side as a result of piling up of warm water the western sides of the atlantic ocean the sea level is raised and a slope is created as a result of the slope a counter current starts moving from west to east between north and south equatorial current this counter current is warmer than north or south equatorial current why because it is solely the result of piling up of warm water as a result of piling up of warm water a slope gets formed and whenever a body will move under the impact of slope a body will move under the impact of slope its velocity will be higher in the eastern part under the impact of slope therefore this counter current is stronger this counter current is stronger in the eastern side of atlantic ocean where it is known as guinea current but since overall atlantic ocean is having narrow extent in equatorial sea so counter current is not so strong as in pacific ocean if you see pacific ocean it is huge this counter current is a compensation current it is a compensation it is a compensation why because this current is generated because of slope created by the piling up of warm water as a result of the slope in the middle the water moves west to east counter current is always warmer than north or south equatorial current in case of atlantic ocean it is stronger in the eastern part where it is known as guinea current and it is stronger during northern summer why see what happens during northern summer what will happen the sun will shine in the northern hemisphere and the equatorial low pressure belt will be somewhere in to the north of 
equator and northeast trades equatorial low pressure belt will lie somewhere north of equator in northern summer and southeast trades will cross equator and they will turn towards their right during northern summer it is southeast trades which are stronger these southeast trades are stronger and here you see the expanse of atlantic ocean is more during northern summers equatorial low pressure belt shift northward northeast trades are confined between subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt this low pressure belt is in northern hemisphere so southeast trades are stronger and since in this part the extent of atlantic ocean is more so since extent of atlantic ocean is more so winds are blowing over longer distance so piling up of water is more whereas during nor northern whereas during northern winters what happens sun will shift south low pressure belt will be somewhere here and northeast trades will be stronger and they will reach up to equator and they will turn towards the left here the extent of atlantic ocean extent of atlantic ocean is less so the extent over which that although in during uh, southern summer when northern winters in southern summer northeast trades will be stronger no doubt about it as compared to southeast trades but since the extent of atlantic ocean is less so winds will blow over smaller extent so the piling up of water because of extent extent of atlantic ocean is less so winds will blow over smaller extent so the piling up of water will be less as a result slope will not be so steep have you got this or not during northern summer this is north equatorial current this is south equatorial current north equatorial current south equatorial current now south equatorial current in general is stronger than north equatorial current why because the extent of pacific ocean is more and these both currents pile up warm water on the eastern side as a result of which a counter current comes into existence this counter current is stronger in the eastern part because it is the result of the slope that gets formed from west to east so when a body is moving under slope it will gain velocity in the eastern part it is stronger in the eastern part and it is stronger during northern summer because during northern summer southeast trades are stronger and here southeast equatorial current is stronger and here the extent of ocean is more so more piling up of water will take place so the slope will be steep got it and counter current is always warmer than north or south equatorial current now when this north equatorial current reaches its western boundary it starts following the projecting coastline it start following the projecting coastline along the south america now south equatorial current when it reaches its western boundary here there is a place there is a projecting landmass known as known as cape tau roque this projecting nose of brazil is known as cape sao roque cape is a narrow land area where that protrudes into the sea as a result of this projecting land this south equatorial current gets bifurcated into two branches because of this projecting cape sao roque this 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 point is known as cape sao roque there's a small land area projecting into the sea the south equatorial current gets bifurcated into two branches the northern branch moves along the coast of south america and merges into north equatorial current when the south equatorial current reach its western boundary here it is bifurcated it is bifurcated by the projecting landmass this projecting landmass is known as cape 
ताओ रोक टू अ ब्रांच ऑफ इट टर्न्स नॉर्थवर्ड अलोंग साउथ अमेरिका एंड दिस मर्जेस विद नॉर्थ इक्वल करेंट एंड रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ साउथ इक्वल करेंट टर्न साउथ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ब्राजील करेंट ब्राजील करेंट इज अ वीक करेंट वाई बिकॉज इट इज द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ साउथ इक्वल करेंट विच हैज टर्न टूअर्ड साउथ A large part of South Equatorial Current has turned towards North. Now, this mixed water of this branch of South Equatorial Current that merges with North Equatorial Current, the combined branch moves northward, and as it moves northward, it moves away from equator. And moreover, here numerous small islands of Les Antilles are there. As it moves away from equator, because Coriolis force increases. this coriolis force further deflects it towards right hand side and because of obstruction caused by these lesser antilles a branch of south equatorial current turns northward and this is known as antilles current and the remaining current remaining current of north equatorial current remaining north equatorial current enters into caribbean sea this is caribbean sea caribbean sea and it is known as caribbean current north equatorial current a part of it enters into caribbean sea see this is cuba hispaniola puerto rico jamaica this is caribbean sea this branch that enters into caribbean sea it now it is known as caribbean current and this is yucatan peninsula and this is the narrow channel known as yucatan channel yucatan channel yucatan channel lies between yucatan peninsula of mexico and cuba so bulk of the caribbean current enters into yucatan channel takes u turn and moves out of straits of florida this is the florida pro, 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 pe, peninsula of usa province of usa between florida and cuba this strait is known as florida florida strait atlas khol rakha hai some water of caribbean current also takes a clockwise arc makes a clockwise arc in gulf of mexico this is gulf of mexico gulf of mexico here in gulf of mexico it retains the name caribbean current bulk of the water of caribbean current enters through this yucatan channel this is yucatan channel between yucatan peninsula and cuba and takes u turn and moves out of straits of florida straits of florida is between florida and cuba some 10% water also make a clockwise arc and then moves out of straits of florida here it in gulf of mexico it retains the name caribbean current but as soon as it moves out of straits of florida now it is known as florida current as it moves out of straits of florida now it is known as florida current florida current florida current extends between uh straits of florida to cape hatiras cape hatiras this is cape hatiras if you see the map of usa you will find it like this this is florida this is chesapeake bay this is chesapeake bay this is known as cape hatiras see the physical map of usa and this is straits of cuba this is yucatan peninsula this is straits of florida from straits of florida up to cape hatiras this current is known as florida current you see in your atlas here washington dc uh, is there matlab ye maryland province mein this is chesapeake bay 
जस्ट बिफोर चेसा बिग बे द प्रोजेक्टिंग लैंड हियर दिस इज केप हटीराज फ्लोरिडा करेंट एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम स्ट्रेट्स ऑफ फ्लोरिडा टू केप हटीराज अप टू केप हटीराज ये फटीराज मिला पूरी फाउंड आउट नहीं मिला कोई बात नहीं चेसा पीक बे मिला आई टोल्ड यू टू गो थ्रू वर्ल्ड रीजनल थॉरली आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस अगेन एंड अगेन व्हाट इज मैगलेन स्ट्रेट व्हाट इज नारे स्ट्रेट यू नीड टू गो थ्रू वर्ल्ड रीजनल जोग्राफी नाउ एट के फटीराज दिस एंटलीस करेंट दैट गॉट बाइफरकेटेड टूवर्ड्स नॉर्थ दिस ऑल्सो मीट्स Florida current at Cape Hatteras. This Antilles current is very warm and saline. This acquires the characteristics from Sargasso Sea. I will discuss. There is a sea over here, Sargasso Sea, characterized by floating seaweeds of Sargassum. Its water is very saline and warm. So Antilles current, while moving to the east of Antilles Island, less Antilles Island. it acquires the characteristics of sargasso sea and it becomes very warm and saline and it meets florida current at cape hatiraz so at cape hatiraz antilles current meet it now the combined water of florida current and antilles current now it comes under the impact of westerlies it comes under the impact of westerlies fast moving westerlies now the combined water of florida current and antilles current is warmer and broader it is warmer and broader and now since it comes under the impact of westerlies it moves very fast away from the coast under the impact of westerlies this convergence of florida current and antilles current results into a current which is broader and warmer and this is known as gulf stream gulf stream is a very warm and wide current and it appears like river in ocean it is moving so fast that if you are standing in a sea ship you can see as if river is moving into the ocean you distinct it has distinct characteristics as lagta hai ki nadi beh rahi hai samundar mein it is so fast it is so fast because it this is and it is very warm and broad and it and it comes under the impact of westerlies under the impact of westerlies it leaves the coast it leaves the coast and moves very fast towards east as a result of eastward movement cold upwelling upwelling of cold water takes place along northeastern seaboard of usa and canada here upwelling of water takes place on its right lies the warm sargasso sea i will discuss on its left because of westerlies westerlies are moving away they are dragging this warm warm saline current away from the coast so what is happening upwelling of cold water takes place and this is marked by distinct discontinuity known as cold wall this is known as cold wall or cabot current Yeah, this cold water that is upwelling is known as cold wall or cabot current. Why it comes into existence? Because Gulf Stream from Cape Hatteras to Grand Bank. This is Grand Bank. This Gulf Stream under the impact of westerlies, it leaves the coast and moves away very fast, very fast moving current. It leaves the coast. and this upwelling caused by the westerlies is the primary reason for this cold upwelling water which is known as cold wall or cabot current westerlies is like a river in ocean it moves very fast very warm and saline current it is also said that this st lawrence river that falls into gulf of st lawrence the water of st lawrence river also turns south this also contributes to this cold wall primary reason of this cabot current or cold wall is upwelling caused by the westerlies and it is this westerlies that impart very high velocity to gulf stream warm saline current moving very fast and as it moves away from the coast upwelling takes place and moreover this 
cold water of St. Lawrence, fresh water is always colder than saline water. Fresh water of St. Lawrence River falls in Gulf of St. Lawrence. This also turns south, which is also responsible for this cold wall of Cabot current. This Gulf Stream reaches up to Grand Bank, 45 north. It is here that something unusual happens with Gulf Stream. Here basically what you see, Labrador current coming from north. See, this is the Arctic Ocean. Melting of water takes place in Arctic Ocean. And under the impact of polar easterlies, this cold water of Arctic Ocean passes through this Nares Strait. This strait is known as Nares Strait. Nares Strait. Then Baffin Bay. This is Baffin Bay. Baffin Bay connects Arctic Ocean to, uh, this Baffin Bay is connected to Arctic Ocean by Nare Strait. Baffin Bay. This is Davis Strait. Davis Strait. And this is Labrador Sea. Labrador Sea. So under the impact of polar easterlies and melting of ice, cold Labrador current moves from Arctic Ocean, Nare Strait, Baffin Bay, Davis Strait and reaches Labrador Sea. This track of this current is well monitored by the drifting icebergs. Moving icebergs indicate the path followed by this Labrador current. It brings numerous icebergs which hinder the navigation in this part of Atlantic Ocean. Numerous drifting icebergs are brought by this Labrador current and these drifting icebergs along with this Labrador current indicate the path of this Labrador current and this Labrador current meets Gulf Stream to the east of Grand Bank. This Labrador current coming from this Arctic Ocean to Nare Strait, Baffin Bay, Davis Strait, Labrador Sea, icebergs are floating over here hindering navigation and this Labrador current meets Gulf Stream. This modifies the nature of Gulf Stream because of cold Labrador current now with once the Gulf Stream merges with Labrador current, its nature gets significantly modified. It loses its original properties. Still, it demonstrates itself as a weak moving current and divides into various branches. That is known as Delta of Gulf Stream. Once the Gulf Stream merges with Labrador current, it loses its original characteristics. Because of cold Labrador current, this Gulf Stream loses its characteristics and demonstrates itself as a weak current. Here you need to remember, this extent of, extent of Labrador current is determined with the help of floating ice. It is said this cold wall is primarily the result of upwelling caused by the westerlies and secondary the cold water of St. Lawrence. This Labrador current never move, moves much south of Grand Bank. This is Grand Bank. This shallow zone of water around this, this is Newfoundland. This shallow, shallow zone of water is known as Grand Bank. This, what, this shallow zone of water like this, this is British Isles. This shallow zone of water is known as Dogger Bank. Dogger Bank. Like, it is very famous for fishing. Likewise, this shallow zone of water around Newfoundland is known as Grand Bank. Here the Labrador current meets with Gulf Stream and the original nature of Gulf Stream is significantly transformed. Now it is it demonstrates itself as a weak feeble current and it gets divided into various branches. It gets divided into various branches and this is known as Delta of Gulf Stream. Now onwards this is known as North Atlantic Drift. Gulf Stream extends between Cape Hatiras to Grand Bank. 45 North, it meets with Labrador current and thereafter it demonstrates itself as a weak, feeble current and it divides into branches and those branches are known as Delta of, Delta of Gulf Stream. Now, this Delta of Gulf Stream is a part of North Atlantic Drift. It is, a, it is known as North Atlantic Drift. So, 
इसको मिटा दें अब नहीं मिटाते अ ब्रांच ऑफ नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ड्रिफ्ट मूव नॉर्थवर्ड टेक्स यू टर्न एंड मर्जेस विद ईस्ट ग्रीनलैंड करेंट दिस इज ईस्ट ग्रीनलैंड करेंट अ ब्रांच ऑफ नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ड्रिफ्ट मूव नॉर्थ टेक्स यू टर्न एंड मर्जेस विद ईस्ट ग्रीनलैंड करेंट एन अदर ब्रांच मूव नॉर्थ एंड साउथ वेस्ट ऑफ आइसलैंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज नोन एज Irminger current. It is a warm current. It is a warm current. Another branch of North Atlantic drift moves north and moves southwest of Iceland. This is Iceland. This is known as Irminger current. It is a warm current. It plays a very important role in providing a very habitable climate for human beings. In Iceland, it's very cold. Yet another branch of North Atlantic drift moves northward, crosses the Waverly Thompson Ridge, and moves along the coast of. Norwegian current that enters into Norway sea, Norwegian sea. This Norwegian current, this current keeps this entire coast open. And you see, from Stavanger to Hammerfest, Hammerfest, this cod fishing is done. Lofoten Island, this remains free of ice. Why? Because Norwegian current is driving its water from Gulf Stream, which in turn is driving its water from warm tropical sea. So the salinity of the water is. high and when the salinity is high water does not freeze at 0 degree the freezing point goes down so it's not that nor this norwegian current is having very warm water but its salinity is slightly high so it does not freeze nor it allows the coast to freeze yet another branch moves eastward and moves into bay of biscay this is known as rannells current and the most southerly branch turns eastward and then southward and south of madeira and uh, cape verde island this is known as canary current this is known as canary current now this canary current as it turns south of madeira and cape verde island this canary current comes under the influence of trade winds as a result of trade winds warm surface water is removed from the coast and cold water upwells along the coast it comes under the zone of trade winds here trade winds are moving offshore the trade winds drag away the warm surface water and because of upwelling of cold water along the western coast of africa this canary current becomes cold current bahut important hai yaad rakhna which is cold current which is warm current and why canary current is a cold current because of upwelling caused by the trade winds and again it merges with north equatorial current hmm
Yes, any doubt? See, this specific shape of Atlantic Ocean, because of this specific shape, this gyre is very strong. This gyre of current is very strong. So strong, so strong that water at the center is practically motionless. No fresh water from the land can reach the sea. Why? Because this gyre is very strong. It does not allow the fresh water from the land to reach the middle part. It is very strong. Neither ice can enter into it. This gyre of current is very strong. And the water at the center is practically motionless. And this Atlantic Ocean is a specific shape. So what we find here in Atlantic Ocean, in the middle parts, you find floating seaweeds. You find floating seaweeds. Floating seaweeds in the middle part of Atlantic Ocean, float of seaweeds of Sargassum. Seaweeds of Sargassum. Therefore, this sea has acquired the name Sargasso Sea. In the middle, this water is very warm, very saline, characterized by very high evaporation. I will discuss why. Here, the floating seaweeds of Sargassum are found. This Sargassum seaweeds determine the extent of this ocean. This Sargasso Sea is very warm, very saline and very and characterized by high evaporation. European eels come over here. European eels. It is full of European eels. European eels come over here for breeding because they can hide in the weeds and they can protect themselves from the predators. Birds are absent, totally absent in this area. Why? Because birds cannot find their prey. Sargasso Sea is characterized by absence of birds and full of European eels. European eels come here for breeding because they can hide in the seaweeds. They can be protected from the predators. And birds are absent because they cannot find their prey. Because they get they hide in seaweeds. Now, why this? This sea, if you see, it lies in more or less subtropical high pressure belt. This sea is located in subtropical high pressure belt. So what happens over here? This is the sea. Suppose this is the sea. It is located in subtropical high pressure belt. So what happens over here? Sinking air. In subtropical high pressure belt, air is sinking. Sinking air never permits the formation of cloud. Think it is always the rising air that forms cloud. Thinking air never permits the formation of cloud. So this cloud is absent. So rainfall is absent. Now rainfall is absent. Fresh water from the land cannot reach there. Ice cannot enter into the Sargasso Sea because strong gyre. There is no source of fresh water. There is no source of fresh water. And because of sinking air, clouds are absent, insulation reaching the surface is high. The amount of sunlight reaching the surface is high. So sea surface temperature is very high. Why is the Sargasso Sea warm? Because sinking air, clouds are absent, abundant insulation reaches over there. This insulation warms up the sea. So temperature is high. And lower layers of sea are full of moisture. Lower layer of sea are full of moisture because warm sea, its lower adjoining layers will be full of moisture. If the sea is warm, adjoining layers will be full of moisture and this sinking air which is dry, it immediately absorbs this moisture. This sinking air which becomes dry, it immediately absorbs this moisture and moves away. Another parcel of dry air sinks down, which again absorbs the moisture and moves away. So, evaporation is very fast. Evaporation is very fast. Characterized by high evaporation. Because of high evaporation, salinity is high. When water will evaporate, what will remain behind? Salinity. Therefore, it is characterized by high salinity. This Sargasso Sea is found only in Atlantic Ocean. Why? Because of strong gyre and specific shape of Atlantic Ocean that is narrower in this latitude, which has enabled the floating seaweed in Sargasso Sea to come into existence. Its extent depends upon the extent of floating seaweeds.
right this was about not atlantic ocean now tell me if you are having any issues pucho do din mein sab khatam kar dunga tum nahi kar paoge or in fact not only currents how this el nino la nino indian monsoon monsoon sab kara dunga but the point is that how far you are able to catch it मैं मुझे कहो तो मैं आज ही करा दूं सारा मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा इट हार्डली मैटर्स इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ वन आर बट पॉइंट इज हाउ मच यू आर गेटिंग कैन यू रिपीट इट यू मस्ट नो नोट्स में इट्स नॉट गिवन इन इलेबरेट फॉर्म बिकॉज न्यूमरस थिंग्स आर देयर एवरीथिंग कैनॉट बी मैंशन इन नोट्स और आंसर केवल तुम्हारा टू हंड्रेड वर्ड्स का मैक्सिमम आता है यू हैव टू इनकॉर्पोरेट एवरी थिंग सरगासो सी पे आ गया यू कैन राइट इजली हंड्रेड वर्ड्स इज इट शॉर्ट नोट आता है and basically uh, currents of north atlantic ocean what impact do they have on the neighboring coast isn't it are you getting it now currents so what all currents are there you just remember it north equal current caribbean current antilles current florida current gulf stream north atlantic current isme kai sare hain irminger current uh, norwegian current reynolds current canary current that's it and labrador current coming from north right now kya puch raha if a body is not attached like you are running a bus train or man running on the surface on that but water is not attached directly it is moving in layers it is moving are bhai cordless force i explained you it is the effect of earth's rotation there is no force as such it is effect if a body is in air of it is if it is not continuously attached water is not attached it is moving anything having a horizontal movement if it the attached ka matlab ye hai ki it is attached the train train is not slip, slip slipping on the surface it is attached to the surface bus car on these objects cordless force will not act because cordless force is no force there is no force it is an effect of earth rotation and the effect will be visible only when the body is moving relative to earth ocean current is moving to relative to so ocean current kaise hota it is moving relate ocean mein at one place water is static you stand there you will see current moving it is moving with respect to earth matlab you are not if a body is directly in contact that means your cons- who is this person kanam is kata ha gola veli hari this shows you have not understood cordless force because cordless force is no force it is merely an effect mai gola chala ke dikhaya tha na i fired the cannon basically it fell right hand side there is no force if a body is having relative motion with respect to earth then the cordless force will act train is not having relative motion bus is not having relative motion but ocean current is having relative motion with respect to earth the body is directly attached it cannot have relative motion are you getting this ocean current is having relative motion if you see ocean current you can see it moving if you see gulf stream you can see it like a river in ocean the nadi behti hai na you can see in river in ocean you can align your ship along gulf stream and you can make few savings on your fuel because the gulf stream itself will propel your ship if any body is having relative motion with respect to earth this will not happen only when a body is directly attached like in case of train bus or uh, any object which is having a boy running on the surface are you getting it मतलब अर्थ पीछे छूटी जा रही है वो आगे निकला जा रहा है बट इन केस ऑफ दो इफ एनी बॉडी इज हैविंग हॉर्जोंटल मूवमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अर्थ सरफेस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अर्थ सरफेस ओशन करेंट इज हैविंग हॉर्जोंटल मूवमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अर्थ सरफेस क्लियर अब तुम कहोगे ट्रेन इज ऑल्सो हैविंग मूवमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अर्थ सर्फेस नहीं वो अर्थ से हमेशा चिपकी हुई है इट इज नॉट मूविंग अहेड आर यू गेटिंग दिस yes chandramukhi why cordless force is acting on ocean current
जायर वायर जायर इज दर्कुलर सर्कुलर मूवमेंट ऑफ करेंट इज जायर दिस सर्कुलर मूवमेंट ऑफ करेंट इज जायर सिर्फ ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ जायर डज इट इफेक्ट नेविगेशन यस इट विल इफेक्ट सर्कुलर मूवमेंट इफ यू मूव अगेंस्ट द करेंट योर मूवमेंट विल बी ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड इट सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ सरगासो सी ओनली फॉर फिशिंग और फिशिंग इंडस्ट्री इट्स इट्स बेसिकली यूरोपियन ईल्स इट्स ब्रीडिंग ग्राउंड ऑफ यूरोपियन ईल्स इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कैच दैम ओवर देयर बिकॉज दे हाइड इट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर फिशिंग इंडस्ट्री सरगासो सी इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर फिशिंग इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज ऑफ सी वीड्स यू के नॉट ट्रैप दैम is it nothing can enter inside iceberg nothing can enter inside iceberg then how come ships move out from jair are bhai ship ke paas they are powered by engine they are powered by engine bhai ships they will align along these jair if they have to make efficiency on fuel and they will move out because of their steam power and they will they can as for now because of this jair no ship will travel from europe to america because it is uh, opposite to the movement of ship by these currents are found in narrow bands not in the entire ocean in narrow bands by these currents are found in narrow bands like this aise to yahan se koi ship aayegi nahi is coast pe because it is against yes ships can move against gulf stream also ships are powered ships are powered by engine they are not solely dependent on movement of ocean current they take aid of the current as and when they require as a the movement of upper level westerlies from west to west east west to east no plane will move from east to west when have whenever they have to move from east to west they move in stratosphere are you getting it they move in stratosphere now currents of south atlantic ocean see i told you uh, in south atlantic ocean a branch of south equal current bifurcates towards north remaining part of south equal current turns southward in the form of brazil current brazil current is a weak current why because this it has lost a part a part of south south equal current was strong the north equal current but a part of south equal current parts its way and moves into north equal current so remaining current that turns south is known as brazil current and it is a weak current and this brazil current reaches up to plate estuary rio de la plata plate estuary where it encounters isko upar karna beta zara here this brazil current reaches up to plate estuary here you it encounters with a current known as falkland current falkland current it is a cold current falkland current this passage is known as drake's passage between antarctica and south america this passage is drake's passage because of southeast polar easterlies the circumpolar winds circum antarctic winds a branch of it turns northward under the impact of southeast trades uh, so, 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 polar easterlies here the polar easterlies are moving from southeast direction this falkland current turns north and moves along the coast of argentina it moves along the coast of argentina and this movement of this current is also identified with the help of drifting icebergs just like labrador current just like labrador current here this falkland current is the result of impact of southeast polar easterlies here the polar easterlies are moving in this direction as a result cold water surrounding southern ocean it turns northward along the coast of argentina and moves north and this movement of this current this current is known as falkland current this current is known as parkland parkland current
दिस करंट इज ओन एज पार्कलैंड करंट हियर इट मीट्स ब्राजील करंट इट मीट्स ब्राजील करंट एंड हियर वेर इट मीट्स ब्राजील करंट ब्राजील करंट टर्न्स टूवर्ड्स ईस्ट अंडर द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्डीज तो अपवेलिंग ऑफ कोल्ड वाटर टेक्स प्लेस तो अगेन नियर प्लेट एक्चुअली फिशिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यह फाकलैंड करेंट मीट्स ब्राजील करेंट एंड एट थर्टी फाइव साउथ ब्राजील करेंट टर्न ईस्टवर्ड अंडर द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्डीज एंड नाउ दिस इज नोन एज साउथ अटलांटिक करेंट साउथ अटलांटिक करेंट एंड दिस साउथ This is known as South Atlantic Current. It reaches eastward, and the southern tip of South America, South Africa, as a result of southern tip of South Africa, a part of it gets deflected northward. A part of it gets deflected northward. This northward deflected part, this is known as Bengula Current. It is a cold current. Why? one this water is coming from high latitudes secondly here trade winds trade winds remove the warm surface water and upwelling of cold water takes place and it is because of this cold bengula current here namib desert is found because here the trade winds are offshore a part of south atlantic current gets deflected towards north because of southern tip of south america and this northward moving current since it is coming from high latitudes so it is cold current since it is coming from high latitudes so this current is cold current isn't it and this and here because of trade winds warm surface water is removed so upwelling of cold water also takes place along the coast so bengula current is a cold current first because it comes from high latitude and also because upwelling caused by the trade winds and further bengula current merges with south equatorial current wherever cold currents are found in tropics deserts are found why because cold currents are always found on the eastern part of the ocean where trade winds are offshore since trade winds are offshore here you see here you have namib desert here you have atacama desert here you have west australian desert you will find so in the eastern part of tropical seas trade winds are always offshore now currents of pacific ocean what this थोड़ा बड़ा करो सी ओपन अपे एटलस देखो इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें नहीं दी हुई हैं इसमें मैप में आई विल टेल यू नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स आर नॉट गिवन क्वेटर दिस इक्वेटर कहा था वर्ल्ड रीजनल पढ़ लो मुझे तो सब चीज दिमाग में वैसे ही इंप्रिंट है कौन सा कंट्री कौन सा आइलैंड कहां पर लोकेटेड है नहीं वेर इज लूजोन आइलैंड वेर इज मिंडानाव आइलैंड वेर इज ताइवान आइलैंड उनके बीच में बालिंतान स्टेट है साउथ चाइना सी से जोड़ती है तुम्हें ध्यान ही नहीं होगा दिक्कत यही आती है कि वॉट आई एम कंसीविंग इन माई माइंड यू आर अनेबल टू कंसीव इट बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव सच क्लैरिटी ऑफ वर्ल्ड लोकेशन बहुत बड़ी चीज है बेटा ये 
आई टॉट वर्ल्ड लोकेशन वर्ल्ड रीजनल जोग्राफी सबसे पहले पढ़ाई थी बिकॉज वट आई कैन कंसीव मैं समझ अल्यूशन आईलैंड है दिस कम चटका सी ऑफ वोट उस यहाँ पर स्मॉल आईलैंड ओवर यर नोन है सुशीमा आईलैंड उसके ईस्ट में सुशीमा स्टेट है उसके वेस्ट में कोरिया स्टेट है तुम्हें मालूम है दिस एन आईलैंड दिस इज ताइवान आईलैंड यर देर पालावान एंड बालिंतांग आईलैंड आर देयर सो इट डिवाइड इन टू थ्री पैसेजेज नोन एज सुशीमा स्टेट नोन बेसिकली बाशी चैनल और लूजॉन चैनल इट इज योर वर्ल्ड रीजनल जो मैंने पढ़ाया है ना इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तुमको लगता क्या फालतू में पढ़ा दिया इन्होंने इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तुम लोग अदरवाइज होता क्या है कि मेरे दिमाग में तो पिक्चर बनी है वो पिक्चर तुम्हारे दिमाग में नहीं है मैं आगे बढ़ जाता हूं मेरी समझ में नहीं आ रहा तुम्हें कहां समझ में नहीं आ रहा है क्यों बिकॉज यू हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू द वर्ल्ड रीजनल सी दिस इज बेरिंग सी दीज आर अल्यूशन आईलैंड इज इंड इट कम चटका पेनसुला दिस इज Kuril Islands. This is Sakhalin Island, Sea of Okhotsk. This is Hokkaido. This is Honshu. This is Shikoku Kyushu. This is Shikoku. This is Sea of Japan. There is a island, Tsushima Island. Then this is Ryukyu Island. Ryukyu Island connects Japan with this Taiwan, Taiwan, and Taiwan below Taiwan. This is Strait. This is Luzon Island of Philippines. This is Mindanao Island, isn't it? This is Papua New Guinea, isn't it? You must know all these things. अब तुमको अगर ये सब चीजें बिल्कुल clear हैं, तो तुमको कहीं कहीं problem आएगी नहीं? Shall we start? खोल लो फिलहाल Atlas. देखो ये it's not that overnight you will become expert at everything. GS में भी location आती है. Tell me the country surrounding this lake. They expect this from a common man. They expect this from a common man. World regional is to be for GS. It is in GS syllabus. Discuss the distribution of resources. एंड इंडस्ट्री ये ऑप्शन के सिलेबस में नहीं है तो यू सी ह्यूज एक्सपेंस ऑफ पैसिफिक ओशन थ्री फिफ्थ ऑफ पैसिफिक ओशन लाइज इन ट्रॉपिक्स ह्यूज एक्सपेंस हियर अंडर द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ ट्रेड विंड नॉर्थ एंड साउथ इक्वटोरल करेंट स्टार्ट मूविंग फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट दे स्टार्ट मूविंग फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट North equatorial current and South equatorial current of Pacific Ocean are far, far more stronger than North and South equatorial current of Atlantic Ocean. Why? Because the Pacific Ocean, the extent is of ocean is huge. Extent of ocean is huge. Extent of ocean is huge. And between North and South, here also, South equatorial current is stronger than North equatorial current. Because of vast expense, trade winds blow over extensive region, and warm surface water gets piled up on the western side. Here, this north and south equatorial current are very strong. But even before they reach the western part of Pacific Ocean, open your atlas. This ocean bottom topography of western Pacific Ocean is very uneven. Numerous sea mounts, fjords. And islands are there. And even ocean bottom topography. See, numerous islands are there. Numerous uh, submarine uh, platforms are there. Numerous yachts and sea mounts are there. So, even before reaching the western boundary, because of uneven surface topography, a part of north equal a branch of north equal current takes U-turn and contributes to counter current because of uneven surface topography. A part of North Equatorial Current, because of uneven surface topography, takes U-turn and contributes to counter current. Remaining, remaining North Equatorial Current reaches its western boundary near Mindanao Island of Philippines. Philippines, see Philippines. Remaining North Equatorial Current current reaches up to Philippines. That is Mindanao Island. then along this philippines island it turns northward it turns northward it turns northward then you see above philippines there is a island taiwan and this is luzon island of philippines in between there is a channel known as 
बालिनटांग चैनल बालिनटांग चैनल और लूजोन स्ट्रेट अगर तुम ईस्ट एशिया का मैप खोलोगे यू विल गेट दिस क्लियरली देर आर आईलैंड ऑल्सो इन दिस स्ट्रेट तो बिटवीन ताइवान एंड लूजोन आईलैंड दे नैरो चैनल नोन एज बालिनतांग चैनल और लूजोन स्ट्रेट इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बाशी चैनल इसके तीन नाम है द चैनल वाई तीन नाम क्यों है ये जो ताइवान आईलैंड है ना और फिलिपींस का नॉर्दर्न आईलैंड है लूजोन आईलैंड इनके बीच में दो आईलैंड हैं बाशी एंड बाबूयान बातन इन दो आइलैंड्स की वजह से इट इज डिवाइड इनटू थ्री चैनल्स दिस इज लूजोन आइलैंड दिस इज ताइवान दिस इज लूजोन स्ट्रेट बालिनतांग चैनल बाशी चैनल तीन वाटरवे हो गए ना ध्यान से देखोगे तो एटलस में भी मिल जाएगा खोजने से भगवान मिल जाते हैं ये तो छोटे छोटे आइलैंड हैं उसको ध्यान से देखो यू विल गेट इट तो बिटवीन ताइवान एंड लूजोन आइलैंड सी दिस इज लूजोन आइलैंड दिस इज ताइवान नॉर्थ इक्वटोरियल करेंट एंटर्स इनटू साउथ चाइना सी थ्रू बालिनतांग चैनल और बाशी चैनल और लूजोन स्ट्रेट देर आफ्टर दिस नॉर्थ इक्वटोरियल करेंट इज नोन एज कुरोशियो करेंट बिटवीन ताइवान दिस इज रूक्यू आईलैंड एंड दिस इज ऑनशू आईलैंड दिस इज क्यूशू दिस इज शिकोकू दिस इज ताइवान बियॉन्ड दिस दिस नॉर्थ इक्वटोरियल करेंट इज नोन एज कुरोशियो करेंट दिस नेम कुरोशियो करेंट अप्लाइज विथ अलॉन्ग when it moved along this this is taiwan previously it was known as formosa north equatorial current jo hai it enters into south china sea by way of palintang channel ab north equatorial current khatam now the remaining part that moves further northward along taiwan ryukyu island and this honshu coast this current is known as kuroshio kuroshio current this current is known as kuroshio current just like florida current a part of this kuroshio current enters into east china sea through this ryukyu island a branch of it enters into east china sea and then you will see here between korea and japan in between there is a island known as tsushima Tsushima Island, a branch that enters into South China Sea, further enters into Sea of Japan. It further enters into Sea of Japan. This branch that enters into Sea of Japan through this is known as Tsushima Current. It moves along the western coast of Japan. ये island है ना यहाँ पर ये island. This island is also known as Tsushima. इसके वेस्ट से जो वाटर बॉडी है उसे कहते हैं कोरिया स्ट्रेट इस आइलैंड के ईस्ट से जो वाटर बॉडी है उसे कहते हैं सुशीमा स्ट्रेट सी और एटलस सी और एटलस ईस्ट एशिया कोरिया और जापान के बीच में एक आइलैंड है ईस्ट चाइना सी और सी ऑफ जापान के बीच में यहां पर नोन एज सुशीमा आइलैंड उसके ईस्ट से जो स्ट्रेट है दैट इज नोन एज सुशीमा स्ट्रेट उसके वेस्ट से जो स्ट्रेट है नोन एज कोरिया स्ट्रेट अ ब्रांच ऑफ क्रोशो करेंट दैट एंटर्स थ्रू कुरील आइलैंड एंटर्स इनटू ईस्ट चाइना सी एंड देन इट एंटर्स इनटू सी ऑफ जापान दिस करेंट इज नोन एज सुशीमा करेंट दैट मूव्स अलोंग द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ जापान इन सी ऑफ जापान हरी now here along the honshu coast cold oyashio current coming from arctic ocean cold oyashio current coming from arctic ocean this cold oyashio current coming from arctic ocean it moves this is oyashio 
it is cold current result of polar studies in melting of water it enters through bering strait was passes through bering sea moves along kamchatka peninsula moves along kuril islands and meets kurosho current along honshu coast this is kamchatka peninsula this these are kuril islands this oyashio current enters into bering sea through bering strait moves along kamchatka peninsula kuril island and meets kurosho current along honshu coast from here onwards kurosho current comes under the impact of westerlies it moves away from the coast now from honshu coast further east of honshu coast up to from honshu coast up to 160 east longitude 160 east longitude this is known as kurosho extension this is known as kurosho extension that is from honshu coast from honshu coast where the oyashio current meets kurosho from there to 161 east this current is known as kurosho extension it is known as kurosho extension east of 160 now it is known as north pacific current now it is known as north pacific current now it is known as north pacific current east of 160 east it is known as north pacific current and this current exists in the form of two branches ocean currents pe maine phd ki hai kuch puchna ho to puch lena hamare theek hai kyun hota hai kaise hota hai wherever you have any doubt to exam mein to seedha question aata hai discuss the ocean current of atlantic ocean wahan jao bana ke aa jao वेदर पूछ लेंगे बहुत से बहुत कुछ नहीं पूछते इट इज क्वेश्चन पेपर देखो तो इट इट्स सिंपल डिस्कस द तुम यू कैन आल्सो इन्फ्लुएंस द वेदर वेर एवर द कोल्ड एंड वार्म करेंट्स आर मीटिंग द फिशिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फिशिंग कोस्ट वेर एवर वॉट इज अपेलिंग इट इज गुड फॉर फिशिंग नाउ ईस्ट ऑफ वन ईस्ट इट इज नोन एज नॉर्थ पैसिफिक करेंट नॉर्थ पैसिफिक करेंट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टू ब्रांचेज वन ब्रांच दैट मूव नॉर्थवर्ड is known as aleutian current one branch that moves northward is known as aleutian current this aleutian current ye 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 dekho ye alaska peninsula hai na isme aleutian range ek mountain range is mountain range ke jo peaks upar peak pop up kar rahe hai na those are known as aleutian island this northern branch of north pacific current is known as aleutian current this aleutian current reaches up to aleutian island and then it bifurcates into two branches one branch moves north of aleutian island and makes an anti clockwise arc in bering sea and it merges with oyashio current ye oyashio current aa raha tha na a part of aleutian current this enters into bering sea flows through north of aleutian island and makes an anti clockwise arc and merges with oyashio current it is cold current second branch that moves south of aleutian island and enters into gulf of alaska and it makes anti clockwise arc in gulf of alaska this branch is known as alaskan current it is warm current dekho ek hi water mass hai one is becoming cold current one is becoming warm current it depends upon the temperature of the water body into which it is entering alaskan water this warm current has a very positive impact on the inhabitants yahan par this alaska gulf of alaska ka pani hai na it is surrounded by land area see kenai peninsula this from all side so it is very cold very cold and static this alaskan current is comparatively warm and this brings immense relief to the inhabitants of these coastal area 
and has very positive impact on the neighboring vegetation are you getting it same current allusion current pacific north pacific current is divided into two parts isko hum abhi baad mein discuss karenge one branch moves northward it is known as allusion current allusion current when it reaches allusion islands it further bifurcates into two branches the branch that moves north of allusion island and makes anti clockwise arc in bering sea and ultimately merge with oeso current this is this retains the name allusion current and it is cold current the second branch that moves south of allusion island and enters into gulf of alaska and makes an anti clockwise arc in gulf of alaska here this is known as alaskan current it is warm current because the this water current is wa much warmer than the water of gulf of alaska gulf of alaska this water is surrounded by land area from all sides it is very cold as compared to this current when it enters into it it is warm it has this alaskan current is a warm current it has very positive impact on the uh, vegetation and the inhabitants of neighboring regions this southeasterly branch of north pacific current this move eastward this moves eastward this moves eastward this moves eastward this moves eastward and along lower california here this east this 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 branch when it moves along the coast of lower california it comes under the impact of trade winds trade winds drag away the warm surface water and upwelling of cold water takes place along the coast because of upwelling of cold water along this coast this current is known as californian current and californian current it is a cold current it becomes cold current because of upwelling caused by the trade winds this is this this gains the name californian current this is lower california this is lower california which is part of mexico here because along the coast of lower california here trade winds are causing their trade winds are offshore they drag away the warm surface water and cold water upwells along the coast as a result of upwelling of cold water this current that is known as californian current it becomes cold current now south pacific ocean in south pacific ocean south equatorial current is moving westward but because of uneven surface topography it also get diverted a branch of it a branch of south equatorial current a moves north of papua new guinea takes u turn and contributes to counter current yet another branch of south equatorial current passes westward through torres strait and the third branch turns southward and it is this branch it is known as east australian current it is a warm current it is this current that is responsible for bulk of the rainfall along the eastern coast of australia to the east of great dividing range east australian current it is a warm current a branch of south equatorial current moves north of papua new guinea takes u turn contributes to counter current second branch moves westward from torres strait into timor sea third branch that moves southward this moves along the eastern coast of australia it is known as east australian current it is a warm current and it is this east australian current that is responsible for the bulk of the rainfall along the eastern side of great dividing range further south it comes under the impact of westerlies and it turns eastward here upwelling of cold water takes place near tasmania as it turns eastward upwelling of cold water will take place this is good for fishing and this eastward moving current causes heavy rainfall along the western side of new zealand in new zealand it is mountainous in northern part volcanic cones are there in southern part snowfalls is there so this current coming from west this causes heavy rainfall on the western side of new zealand and then continues to move eastward this south pacific current continues to move eastward and then on the southern tip of south america a part of it gets deflected northward this northward deflected current is known as 
पेरु करेंट इज नोन एज पेरु करेंट मोस्ट स्टडिड करेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पेरु करेंट दिस करेंट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज हमबोल्ड करेंट बिकॉज हमबोल्ड स्टडिड हियर इट इज अ कोल्ड करेंट कमिंग फ्रॉम हाई लैटिट्यूड एंड मोर ओवर ऑफ शो ट्रेड विंड्स ऑफ शो ट्रेड विंड्स ड्रैग अवे द वार्म सर्फेस वॉटर सो अपवेलिंग ऑफ कोल्ड वॉटर टेक प्लेस अलॉन्ग द कोस्ट ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका दे फोर पेरू करेंट इज कोल्ड करेंट इट इज द मोस्ट स्टडिड करेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इज अ कोल्ड करेंट because it it comes from high latitudes and moreover here because of offshore trade winds they drag away the warm surface water and upwelling of cold water takes place along the western coast of south america so this peru current is cold current known as humboldt current this is the most studied current of the world now as i told you this expanse of pacific ocean is huge in tropics so huge piling up of water will take place on the western side as a result the temperature of west pacific ocean is 10 to 12 degree more than east pacific ocean because of piling up of warm water and this slope is also very steep as a result the counter current of pacific ocean is very strong is very very strong as compared to the counter current of atlantic ocean this counter current of pacific ocean is very strong this counter current is very strong very warm during northern summers as the sun shift northward these pressure belts wind belts will shift northward this counter current also turns northward and this warms the water of east pacific ocean during northern summer bhai kya hota hai northern summer mein all the pressure belt wind belt they shift northward and this peru current will cross equator and this will cross equator it will in the northern summer southeast trades are very strong they will cross equator and they will turn towards the right and these peru current will also cross equator and it will meet counter current north of equator it will meet counter current north of equator but during southern summer that is december all the pressure belt and wind belt shift southward during southern summer when the sun shifts southward all the pressure belt and wind belt shift southward as a result this counter current this counter current will also turn towards south and along the coast of south america it moves south and at the same time at the same time this peru current is found to be moving from south to north so during every summer season we have two different types of water masses in east pacific ocean along the coast warm counter current moving from north to south lying on the right hand side of cold peru current in every southern summer we have two two types of water masses one warm counter current moving from north to south and it lies on the right hand side of northward moving peru current in certain years in certain years for reasons unknown this counter current becomes exceptionally strong so strong so strong that it raises the temperature of entire east pacific ocean it raises the temperature of entire east pacific ocean and peru current disappears peru current disappears in those years indian scholars call this counter current as el nino current ek cheez dhyan rakhna el nino is not a current pehli baat lekin upsc mein likh sakte ho क्योंकि यहां के इंडियन स्कॉलर्स मानते हैं इन दो इयर्स व्हेन दिस काउंटर करंट इज एक्सेप्शनली स्ट्रॉन्ग इट रेजेस द टेम्परेचर ऑफ ईस्ट पैसिफिक ओशन सो मच सो दैट द पेरू करंट डिसअपियर्स दिस वार्मिंग ऑफ दिस काउंटर करंट इन दो इयर्स इज नोन एज एलिनो करंट एलिनो करंट एलिनो इज नॉट अ करंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बट इन यूपीएससी यू कैन राइट इट एलिनो इज अ मेटोलॉजिकल इवेंट 
that affects rainfall over half of the globe. In India and in UPSC, you can write in those years this counter current is known as El Nino current and it raises the temperature of East Pacific Ocean. These years basically, what is El Nino? El Nino is a phenomena associated with the warming of water of East Pacific Ocean. That's it. But we in India, we say this counter current becomes very strong and it, it, it is this counter current is known as El Nino current. Otherwise, worldwide, तुम कहीं भी इंटरनेट में एलिनो करंट लिखा हुआ दिखा दो एक्सेप्ट इंडियन बुक्स एलिनो इज नॉट अ करंट एलिनो इज अ मेट्रोलॉजिकल इवेंट दैट इफेक्ट रेनफॉल ओवर हाफ ऑफ द ग्लोब नोन एज एनसो नाउ इसके बाद की स्टोरी हम लोग कल डिस्कस करेंगे हाउ एलिनो इफेक्ट इंडिया मॉनसून हाउ एलिनो इफेक्ट वॉकर सर्कुलेशन वॉट इज सदन ऑसोलेशन वॉट इज मेट्रोलॉजिकल टेलीकनेक्शन what is basically southern oscillation index all these things how what is see two views are there and both can be written in upsc one is indian view that those years when counter current is exceptionally strong it is known as el nino current and it raises the temperature of east pacific ocean and uh, basically peru current disappears and because of high temperature low pressure is created surface winds now move from west to east i'll discuss and how according to indian scholars it affects indian monsoon upsc mein likh sakte ho tumhe kahin bhi ye nahi milega internet pe galat hai but in upsc it is accepted sari standard books yahi kehti hain jo upsc mein accepted hai upsc mein jo yusuf savinder singh jo examiner rahe hain unhone apni kitabon mein likha hai aur yahan tak ki penguin ki dictionary mein bhi elino current likh diya inhone jab so india mein chapni shuru hui hai na एलिनो करंट पूरी इंटरनेट पे देख के लिख के दिखा दो कहीं भी लिखाओ एलिनो इज नॉट अ करंट पहली बात तो एलिनो इज अ मेट्रोलॉजिकल इवेंट अब ये कहते हैं दो इयर्स व्हेन द काउंटर करंट इज एक्सेप्शनली स्ट्रॉन्ग इट इज ओन एज एलिनो करंट एंड इट रेजेस द टेंपरेचर ऑफ ईस्ट पैसिफिक ओशन अब पहले आई विल टेल यू इंडियन व्यू वेरी वेल यू कैन राइट एन एग्जाम यू हैव टू राइट एन एग्जाम अगर पास होना है तो है गलत ये व्यू गलत है इंटरनेशनली not accepted but in india it is accepted then i will tell you what is internationally accepted are you getting my point so how what is el nino hai na how it affects indian monsoon first i will tell you indian view then uh, i will tell you international view what is internationally accepted okay so revise this thoroughly and we will start with this how this el nino affects india's monsoon and various aspects related with it